Greetings everybody, it's Leviathan here, and I wanted to bring you a little video for a special event that's going on here in the month of March. Uh, in case you haven't seen yet, there's been a little tidbit sweeping the net. Uh, there is a new cow level in the game, and in order to get there, you would normally go uh, to the Ruins of Seshron, which is here in Act 3. So if you're at your map here, you go Act 3, Ruins of Seshron. And you would have to go through this whole first area, uh, take you over to the Elder Sanctum. I speared you guys that uh, long journey by, go ahead, by going ahead and already getting a, uh, a TP here to close to the area. So this, you can see this is Kanai's Cube over here, which is always to the right in this second area. It's pretty much the furthest point to the right. So from here, you're just going to go take your horse or whatever your preferred method of travel is. And head over to the Immortal Throne area. We know that this is where uh, a little secret was before because you would get to this area and it would say the time isn't ready or the time is not now or something to that effect. But the time is now. It's, you know, today's March 2nd. Uh, this was open as of yesterday, March 1st. And it's actually to celebrate the birth month of. Uh, Kevin Kanai Griffith, who was one of the designers, I believe artists, on uh, Diablo 3, and he sadly passed away in 2014. So, of course, Kanai's Cube is named after him, but now they also introduced this uh, awesome area for us called Kanai's Stomping Grounds. So you can see you come here. I don't have any like special stuff. Some people are saying you need the staff of herding. You don't. You can just come here. He does his little animation, and then you hop into the Kanai Stomping Grounds. And as you can see, it's this uh, same area from Act 1. Um, I forget exactly which. I think it's... I always want to say Weeping Hollow, but that's not it. It's the one where you would go to get the two things for the pedestal back in story mode. You guys know what I'm talking about. But you can see you hop in here, and then uh, Kanai's hanging out with you. He's whirlwinding. He's got his transmog from um, what uh, Kevin Kanai's character was actually wearing when um, you know he passed away. What his, what his barbarian was transmogged with and everything like that. You can see he fights alongside you, he does some whirlwinding here and there. Um, but the whole idea in this area is just to fight off the cows. And there's actually a... Um, similar to like the set dungeons and whatnot, there's a thing in the background that's keeping track of all the mobs in here. And once you kill them all, you actually get a... Um, kind of like a reward. Uh, an, uh, what's the word? I'm looking for like a quest reward, if you will. So you just do that, you go around this area. It's not too big. Um, pretty standard size area. There's some elites in here, but you can see what's different from the other, not the cow level. Um, there aren't as many chests or shrines. I, I don't believe there are any in here, actually. I've only done this area once before this uh, little promo vid that I'm doing for you guys right now. So I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that it's just you and the cows and Kanai, and you just go and you fight. I don't notice that the experience is any better or greater in here, or that there's any kind of, you know, secrets or tricks to this. Maybe maybe there will be. I don't know if people will continue to play this area and find if there's anything, but I think it's mostly just kind of a Easter egg call out um, to the celebration of uh, Kevin Kanai Griffith and kind of the, you know, continued um, homage that they're paying to him after getting the cube in there um, for his namesake. So it's pretty cool. Let's see these. Uh, I'm on Torment 10 right now, so it's just kind of standard fear. Running around on our horse, killing things. You see now we're getting down to some of the last cows, so we're starting to get some of the skulls on there. Um, and then once we kill them all off, I'm not sure where I left any. Here go a few. It leaves them there, and then the event completes, and that's pretty much it. The portal opens back up, takes you back out to the Elder Sanctum, and that's all there is to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoy the um, little homage that they're paying here. It's really cool that they did that, and uh, I'll be seeing you guys around with some more videos, hopefully soon.